Listen to what Imam Ghazali rahmatullahi ta'ala mentions in Minhajul Abidin. He says, long hopes are an obstacle on the path of virtuous deeds and worship. They're an obstacle and they are a cause of every corruption and evil. Being afflicted with long hopes is a disease which causes people to fall into many other diseases as well. It's just like, you know, you say to someone, if you do this, then you're going to be falling into a, into a disease, into an illness. And then these illnesses will follow by because of that now just imagine a person he knows that if he follows the path of the shaitan Allah Ta'ala has given us a correct path he's given us the choice you know we're not being forced to do anything we, 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 we accepted Islam with our own choice we accepted Iman with our own choice. No one forced it upon us. We were lucky. Seriously, if you think to yourself how lucky we are that Allah Azza wa Jal has made us amongst the Muslims. Allah Ta'ala has given us life in a Muslim home. We were given the azan when we were born in our ears. You're going to be read the janazah. You're going to be buried respectfully inside the grave. My dear Islam brothers and viewers of Madani channel, you know, we need to do self accountability. Think to yourself, how is my life going? You know, what am I doing in my life? Every time, Hazrat Sayyidina Umar bin Khattab, anhu, the second caliph of Islam, he would always ask himself, Oh Umar, what have you been doing today? He would ask himself, he would remind himself, Oh Umar, what have you done today? Have we ever asked ourselves? Have we ever sat down and asked ourselves, what did I do today? I woke up in the morning. Did I offer my Fajr Salah? If I didn't, then that is a problem. I went to work all day. I've been chasing the world. I've been chasing money. I've been chasing all these materialistic things. Have I even spent a few minutes remembering my creator? Have I even spent a few minutes reciting Durood upon the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam? Remember, my dear Islam brothers, those people who are fortunate enough to have this self-accountability, listen to this beautiful story in Hikayate or Nasihate. Sayyiduna Abu Bakr Qattani rahmatullahi ta'ala li, he states a person would take himself to account over his shortcomings and his mistakes. One day, he calculated the years of his life and he came to 60 years. He then calculated the number of days and it came to 21,500. Then he screamed out loudly and he fell to the ground unconscious. When he regained consciousness, he began to say, Ah, if I committed even one sin every day, I will enter the court of Allah with 21,500 sins. Then what can be said of those sins which cannot be counted? Ah, I have enjoyed the world and ruined my hereafter. And I continue to disobey my Rabb Azza wa Jal. I do not desire to go from bliss towards loss in the world. So how will I give accountability on the day of judgment without any rewards or deeds? And how will I face punishment? The man then screamed out loudly and he fell to the floor. When he was moved, it became known that his soul had departed from his body. Can you imagine? Such fear of Allah Azza wa Jal that he passed away. Today, we wake up in the morning. Seriously, let's look at our lives today. We wake up in the morning, we have our breakfast, we get ready, we go to work, we go to school, we go to college, we go to university. All day long, we're chasing the world. All day long, we're chasing the world. All day long, we've forgotten Allah Azza wa Jal. When he comes for Zuhr Salah, we're too busy at work. When he comes to Asr Salah, I'm too tired, I need to take a short break. When he comes to Maghrib Salah, I need to go back home. When it's time for Isha Salah, I'm fast asleep in my bed and this is our daily routine for five days six days on a Sunday I've got a day off therefore I'm going to sleep in as they say all day long we'll be sat at home or we'll be taking our families to the park so, so six days we are chasing the dunya we have forgotten our creator on the seventh day if we do get a day off we'll be sat at home and even at that time we are planning for the next week our work but my dear Islam brothers while we plan Allah Ta'ala has always have a plan for us. And that plan is maybe my next day will not be in the world. I could be in the grave. But what plans have we made for that? We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel. We love Madani Channel.